In the recent Solaris DLC, we got cloaking, but I haven't really featured it on this channel, especially utilizing it for war. I wanted to see if me skipping over this tech and feature was a mistake, but only allowing ships with cloaking to do my dirty work and to see if we can dominate the galaxy still, especially in combat. The Cloaked Crusade will specialize and utilize everything about cloaking. I've done some research on the best ways to utilize it, and I will show you guys the tips I've picked up as we play. I will of course be using my standard settings with Grand Admiral with mid-game scaling on at 2250, and we'll jump straight in. Now we did start with Teachers of the Shroud because we're going spiritualist and it's one of the best origins for it. We also get Latent Psionic, which gives us a bunch of science buffs, which is going to be great to tech rush towards cloaking, and it will give us another point to explore in the galaxy. The start is going to be pretty standard. We're going to tech rush as much as we can because cloaking is a tier two technology, which means we need six tier one technologies, which are usually around this cost. Now to roll even more, we're going to need a field experts leader, but obviously we can't get it yet. So we're just going to ignore that for now. We did luckily get a uh, intellectual leader, Zog of Ark, which will greatly help us out. There's some other tips to help you roll cloaking tech, but we'll get to that when it actually matters in this game. So first we're going to go down prosperity. Like every game, it just helps build up your empire. Now we will eventually get one point in subterfuge because that lets us roll cloaking even more. You just need one point in it. So if you're trying to get cloaking quickly, Remember to grab subterfuge. I'm going to grab another science ship so we can actually find where our planets are. And we're going to get building on science. Now, we did not go technocracy, which will help roll the leaders. But I wanted to try and go psionic cloaking. If we're going to try cloaking, we should probably try to go the best cloaking. We didn't get a field manipulation leader in our first roll, but we need someone to survey. So they'll have to do. We'll just keep an eye. We did start with masterful crafters because it's just very good. Consumer goods for tech rushing is what we need. Gives us some trade value and building slots is such a good civic. It used to be even stronger before. And we've got an Exalted Priesthood, which is just going to give us a bit more unity so we can do a few more traditions. And there wasn't really another civic that was better than that. We've got Spiritualist because we need it for Teachers of the Shroud. Xenophobe, more pop growth speed, which is always nice. And an Egalitarian to our Specialist give us more output. And our Factions give more unity as well as oligarch. So I'm not going to really build much unity buildings, but we've got some nice base unity output. We can focus on tech. Only ship's going to be start building now so that we can get our planet as soon as we can. It does take a year to get that up. Special job output, even more science. So you'd think a unity build or a spiritualist build wouldn't be good at tech rushing, but because of latent psionic plus intelligent plus natural engineers, it's actually pretty decent. I'm going to grab coal guns just because it unlocks auto cannons. The only time we need to use cloaking is for battles. We're going to auto cannon a little bit just so we can declare the wars for vassalization. Hydra base next. Best tech. Free resources. I probably should have put veneration of saints on. I always forget that you get that. We just get more priest output for free. Or you may as well. As well as going isolationist for more unity and civilian economy for more consumer goods. We don't really need alloys yet. We can always switch Normally off when we go and murder everything. Our first colony is here, Starfall. If you're wondering where the planet names, leader names such as Permanent Fury, Skill Issue, Trixie Luda Moon. Comes from our Patreon, starts from a dollar and greatly helps out the channel if you wanted to support any more. I greatly appreciate it. So to roll cloaking, we actually need tier one shields, improved deflectors. We're gonna grab that and remember how many physics researches we've done. We've already done one. We need five more including improved deflectors. We're also going to need frigates because frigates is what we're going to utilize for that insane alpha strike missile kaboom. Those are real words. Prosperity is now finished and we're going to grab tech ascendancy. We have more research speed and rare techs appear at 1.5 times the normal rate. Smoking is a rare tech so this is going to help us grab that earlier. We're going to grab more armor because we're going to fit all of our ships with armor. Shields don't work from cloaking until we get to psionics but armor is just better anyway so that's what we're gonna fit our frigates with yeah i'm gonna go psionic theory now because we will eventually be able to go down psionics as we just need that tech but for now we're just gonna grab sub diffuse so we don't forget that gives us a huge chance to roll cloaking which is always very nice okay, now we're gonna grab supremacy just ready to murder so we have three techs in we're gonna get more research speed just keep buffing the research usually i do go after bidders but cloaking is gonna take that slot so we're going to grab buffs to corvettes and frigates first for build speed and boss reduction combat rules is very good though we'll take that and after that we would have had six one two three four five and that would be our six we've met a fanatic xenophile fallen empire um let's hope they just 
like us. And we've met someone down here. Biltrest Savoy Go. So we didn't get the tech. That's annoying. We'll just go for the lowest one because then we can reroll faster. Damn it, we're not finding frigates either. And I'm an idiot and didn't change my scientist. To roll frigates, I think we need propulsion. We're also not getting that either. I've misplayed a little bit here. But we got cloaking anyway. See, it's uh, field manipulation. If you had this, it would more likely come up. So now we need a propulsion leader so we can try and get frigates because Corvette's cloak doesn't really do much. Oh, propulsion leader perfect and so we don't waste the scientists we'll build another science ship and assist research get more tech which is nice oh we found another fallen empire how how did we find them what oh is it because of the shroud we should probably look into doing that as well it's just caused so many alloys why are they both next to each other we have some factions i'm gonna make them happy we're gonna get rid of um robotic workers because we don't have any anyway now they love us and this faction wants benevolent subjugation policy which is fine with me because it means they're more likely to accept those terms and then the more aggressive one wants oppressive but yeah Technology. don't care and the spiritualist one we're going to promote so hopefully they grow frigates no this is sad Boging is here now we just need frigates and we're not getting them we got all the cannons though <laughs> no i must resist okay, let's start doing the shroud stuff but we can already activate cloaking on our science ships that's pretty cool which means we can cloak past any menaces are oh, yes beautiful and we're still not getting damn frigates the one time i want them in a game come on oh we're getting psychic leaders now very nice what are those gives you might ask gives us even more research speed and pretty much everything research terms is going to be good to find uh frigates i think or i might get them right now i believe are you serious we get advanced all for them the chat gpt sentient network they are what is north of us i should probably block them in grab the choke point beacon is now lit we can actually go on the other side of the map i would like to get our fate as well almost got enough energy for it there we go and then we can get a leader from them as well welcome them in supremacy is now finished we're gonna go executive bigger we can put on our capacity subsidies well we have fusion missile too but no frigate still i need space torpedoes i get the more chance if i'm militaristic which i'm not or fanatic and the only way i can affect it is with propulsion which is what i have we're just getting unlucky unless i'm missing something completely which could also be the case you guys can let me know <laughs> in the comments i'm still not getting them we can actually buy one of their teachers now yes please which gives us a decision more amenities and more unity from jobs so we will definitely whack that on our capital now i don't know any more prerequisites for cloaking i'm just gonna guess it's more shields it might just be the previous cloaking but we may as well take shields just in case we can get even more cloaking before we even get frigates to kill stuff <laughs> Frigates! Okay, this is great. You know what I think is we've already got tier two disruptors, which are probably better, but we will go as much as we can into frigates. And now we can go psionics too. Okay, frigates are up and running. We can put fusion missiles on because they penetrate shields, because our space torpedoes are going to penetrate shields, so we may as well just make everything go through shields. And then, of course, we're going to put basic cloaking on. We get shield nullification, but we get one cloaking strength. And hopefully they don't have any detection yet. We're then going to do torpedo tactics. So we're going to charge straight at them. Then we're going to use some micro to actually get the most out of them. Then, of course, max armor because we're not going to have shields anyway. So some key points that we need to look out for in our research. We need better torpedoes and better missiles, better armor and better cloaking. We could always get advanced combat computers, but thrusters don't really matter because we're going to go for massive first strike damage. And my damn leader, who was the researcher one, just got elected. I love them, obviously. Why? Now we have daddy issues. <laughs> That's our governor. Wait, what? We just got pirates? That's annoying. I guess it's time to make a frigate fleet. I didn't realize cloaking. How do you need exotic gases? Oh no. We don't have any. Oh, the search for exotic gases will start. <laughs> well, we've got tier two cloaking. Oh, gas. No, ah, gases, gases. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Oh, we're definitely going to armor torpedoes. I think they're better than antimatter. Then we just need to build gases. We're set. The holy gases can be built. Yes. Tier two cloaking already somehow not entirely sure the difference is it just cloaking strength yes so and it costs crystals so we're not going to actually use tier two until they start to detect us then we can upgrade i don't even know what leader would be good weapon damage pretty much a psychic leader any any old psychic leader will do okay let's see how this fleet does against some pirates let's activate cloaking now the fleet is cloaked what we want to do we want to get on top of their fleet with cloaking like so and then deactivate Let's hope this works. Engaging enemy yeah, and we just nuke them down. Yeah, that worked 
very well. Right, so we can get another Civic. I actually have no idea which one we would go for. Probably Meritocracy, just 10% more specialist output, honestly. Just good. Now we can get tier two rockets. That'll help us out a bunch. Okay, we can now be awakened. Everyone gets sidekick, which gives us a bunch of buffs. I'm gonna start making claims on the chat GPT. And we got the artisan troop. Very nice. Come the patron for more unity. And we'll get events for influence, which is something we're gonna lack. I need to claim everything. But the only issue with frigates is they're better against bigger ships. So early game, we're probably gonna do worse. Because they're just gonna have corvettes. As you can see, we do 100% more damage at based on the target ship size. Hopefully it's fine. You know what we can do? We can actually use our cloaked frigates to see what they've got while we wait for the influence to claim them. Actually, we can just use a science ship as well. Let's breach into the shroud. Shroud, yeah. Really annoying because we can't go no retreat because we don't have militarists. But ship fire, it doesn't really matter when you just instantly come out of cloaking and try and destroy them but i didn't really go much fire rate okay we can actually see their fleets now they have 3.5k and it's all corvettes that's very annoying we can just follow them see what they're doing they have 4k now are they actually preparing war on us? i don't know where they went we can reach into the shroud if we had money we have money now now i don't know which ones are good but i'm just gonna do the first one we get with the different communes let's do this one the ineffable but we have now finished psionic we could become the crisis oh i like that i like that a lot yes i want to do that i just haven't a clue where the heck their forces have gone oh we can just get a tributary as well oh this is this game's so stupid how it lets you do this i mean i'm going to do it because if i don't all the ais will it's still stupid former covenant ship fire rate and army damage i don't really need ship fire rate but sure we'll go it because it kind of suits us all right i think it's time to kill these Wait, is Eater of the Worlds that really... Oh, we're going to do it. Is that that one where you have time limit and you will implode? We've also found proton launchers, which is very nice. I have found them. 4.6k. One destroyer. I think it's about time we kill them. Bring them into the fold. So we stay on top of them. And then we can decloak. Engaging enemy instantly station. first strike them. Look at that. <laughs> we'll go back and uh, clear the way for Engaging our transport. Enemy. We can go cloaked again. Oh, they saw us somehow. All right. We still just wipe them out. It's, the first strikes make them sad, I think. Like, look at this. We go in, and it's dead. As soon as the torpedoes land, let's cloak oh, again. No. Oh, they literally instantly retreated. Okay. The only issue is we can't Space cloak transports, which is very game. annoying. I think you should be able to, but there we go. The shroud can be reached into. We can summon a psionic avatar who can get more invasion. Let's do the easier one. 30% evasion. Not bad. Oh, we've actually found everyone in the community now. Oh, there's a purifier who's going crisis as well <laughs> we're both crisis aspirant that's funny so we have just unlocked proton launchers in issues they don't go through hull i don't think they're better than torpedoes we're gonna keep torpedoes on we can start building orbital rings which is gonna be nice a warning we do not walk a dangerous path shut up don't stand in our way we are also now legion okay we can fully just abuse our vassal now <laughs> take all of their allies all of their stuff yes the 350 influence unyielding psychic is probably the best leader we can get more damage try and kill them all in that first strike we got side jump drives Ooh, jumping and cloaking and everything Ooh, not going too bad i'm not hating the cloaking i just feel like we could still do the same thing if we didn't go cloaking though that's my issue yeah, this is just dumb i can just take all of their resources i <laughs> i can't wait for the new update so i finished subterfuge I'm going to grab Jet Destiny so my subjects don't hate me. I'm trying to scam them for everything that they own. Okay, once we have Quantum Missile Falls, I think we're going to go on the aggressive again. Our telepaths can now produce additional naval capacity. We can now be build a Sanctum of the Eater on one of our planets. What does that even do? Ship weapon range, ship upkeep, and more telepath jobs. Well, that sounds very nice. So we will uh, build that on our capital. And we'll get a retired fleet officer because that will give us even cheaper shit. Very nice. <laughs> this leader's got four trade. Oh, how have they done that? Yeah, I really should kill stuff. I just Ships keep getting more free. text and more alloys. Tier three cloaking. I mean, we still have tier one, don't we? I never changed it. <laughs> Didn't need to yet. Okay, time to cloak. Hopefully they don't see us because then I'll have to go back and upgrade. And uh, They do have cruisers now, so we're going to get better the Later the game goes on because they're going to build bigger ships. Yeah, they can detect. They kicked us out. Okay. I mean, we still have tier one, don't we? I never changed it. <laughs> Didn't need to yet. We get it. We get it. I have no gases. That's an issue. Okay, let's see if we can cloak through them now. If not, we're going to have to wait for tier three cloaking, which isn't too long. They have 20k. We're just going <laughs> to sit on top of them. 
Just instantly wipe them. Oh, they have a 15k as well. Jeez. How are they getting so strong? Okay, because this is so tight, we're actually going to use edicts as well. I forgot to do that last time. Explosive weapons and armor is all we need in fuel. So we are on top of them. I'm going to declare war on the overlord i think yeah we're gonna fight three of them but oh well then we're gonna uncloak everyone and hope that we just wipe them that's the plan engaging enemy station oh my gosh <laughs> we took three losses Jeez. we got some pirates we're gonna do the same thing again instantly wipe them it's quite fun i can't lie well 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 what do we have here some cruisers and all that it would be a mighty shame if they just died <laughs> that took longer than i thought but we still won we lost a lot more there i think point defense does counter us it's fine everything's fine we'll google it False projection now. More power. We might become the crisis soon. Do all our vassals go against us? Oh, well. Well, if they do, they do. Time for sneak attack. No, it's only 7k. Oh, I wasn't paying attention up north. Hopefully, we're fine though. Yeah, we are. We just lost a little bit. Okay, here's where we can uh, do the sneaky. Engaging enemy fleet. Boom. You are dead. 0% war exhaustion for us, 100 for them, and I still can't win. Okay, let's do the, the meme -y. The meme! The prize! <laughs> Our time has come, and I can finally bring it into the fold. There we go. We were very close to being able to do the crisis bar thing, but I don't know if we're strong enough. I kind of always do it and then get memed. Especially since the Fallen Empire on our border. That could be very bad. Let's strength on our borders a little bit. Just in case. Oh, I'm on the council. I did not even look once at the council. Ooh, sometimes I forget it's there when I'm just murdering. Oh, wow. They've actually got enough detection to kick me out. I have tier 3 cloaking already. Is there any avoid to increase cloaking? We need enigmatic engineering. Okay. <laughs> We actually need to do more cloaking. What the hell? Okay, for some reason, this person's contract means they don't get dragged into a war, so we can just go kill them, and then hopefully that gets enough menace to um, become crisis. Oh, this could be bad. No nope, frigates are still decent. We had range on them. Bit of battleships now. Oh, they just had another 20k. Maybe I got a bit greedy there. Oh, we just got the free devastated. Yes. We just don't have flipping orange computers. That would help a bunch. And there they are. Oh, no. Oh, all my vassals stay with me, though. I, like, instantly get declared crisis, which is fun. Everything around me is not at war with me. So I could just turtle. Now, we're going to get cloaking strip plus two in case we do fight. Yeah, we just need lots and lots of dark matter now. And we're just going to use the cubes to meme people and get dark matter. Cubes, cubes, cubes. The cube. Wait, the cubes don't have... <laughs> Gives them a cloaking. We can't use them to fight. I'm going to say we can use them because otherwise I can't get dark matter and then I can't beat the game. But we have used cloaking for everything else. Two cubes. One cube. There's the other cube. There's the other cube. Oh, we can't crack Tiana of it. Oh, it's because it's their system. That's annoying. Cube, cube. Okay, let's start cracking some stars. We need dark matter. Yeah, we. they can't get into us, I don't think. Our vassals might die, but we shall not. Oh, they kicked me out of the community. That's mean. It's time to send our stealth into wipe out some more of their stuff. Now they're upgraded. Oh, that's a 60k. Are they just running? I just love jumping on them and then just cracking it. Oh, no, they had a dragon here. <laughs> How's our cube doing against 50k? Come on, I believe. Okay, we'll retreat. I don't know if they can kill a dragon either. But at least we have our frigates. Oh, no, another fleet spawn. Okay, that was not the best idea. It's fine. You know what we can do? We can cloak to their capital and kill the dragon. <laughs> oh, we jumped there. We should wait as we get minus 50 damage on jump drives. I mean, I guess we could just jump to help out cross map we should get psionic um cloaking as well but we just haven't we'll Discovery. wait again oh i got the chosen one on starlight oh, oh. who is starlight <laughs> oh was it oh it was my leader build speed and upkeep left very nice okay let's kill the dragon the prize <laughs> oh my <laughs> more fire rate and sublight speed and then we can just dip we have insane jump range and then jump on the capital and crack it take out all of their planet oh i may have just engaged poorly uh they got a lot of battleships oh that's so much damage i thought i'd cloaking on but um the fallen empire turned it off yeah we're just annihilating everything say goodbye to your capital <laughs> wait we're not at war with the flat of society because they were never in the galactic community <laughs> So we're not fight we're not really fighting much of the galaxy right now. That's 
huge. Oh, they engaged me. Oh, that's that's not good. Okay, we can jump on them again. It's quite a lot of microns that are just running at them. But it worked. Catch them while they're low. We can finally do stage one. This is we have no living metal. We can't speed up mega structure build speed. And we don't have an essential pick. It's gonna take a while. Oh, they're engaging my my thing. Let me save it. I think we can. Engaging enemy state. Yes, turtling strategy worked. A divine sovereign. We can remain as a high inquisitor or we can go fanatic authoritarian. Divine sovereign. Nope, a powerful sidekick. They've come to do a little trolling. Yeah, we can take them with one because they split up slightly. I was following them with cloaking. Eh -eh. Oh, the fishmongers are over here. <laughs> They're dying. The Flat Earth Society is helping me out. Facebook uses Crisis Wall. Oh, the Khan just work as well. <laughs> and it's not by me, it's by them all. <laughs> oh, is this the, 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 the pog cloaking? I think that's the best cloaking we can get. Oh, we have so much dark matter now. We're just waiting. Waiting and wait. The prize. <laughs> yeah, it's so strong. Banana Corp is now dead. We blew up all of their planet. I'm not evil. I'm not evil. I'm a little bit evil. I just go around killing all their planets with the cubes while we defend with our mass frigates. They're not too bad. Okay, we've done that stage. Now we can do the next stage. Just take so long, 10 years at a time. Prices can spawn from two years. And they can detect cloaking. 40% sublight speed. It's very nice. I really play spiritualist too much, but it's not it's not too bad. I mean, I've literally stayed to three planets the entire game. I like, could not be bothered to do anything else. Um, yeah, I'm lazy sometimes. Eco warriors are dead. There's only four people Space actually killing life. me. The only thing that can stop me now is the crisis. I probably shouldn't let the horde expand like this, but I also don't care because they're actually helping me as well. Especially since I basically just locked myself in in choke point. I am fine. I'm also spamming defensive platform. <laughs> just in case the crisis spawns. You never know. Will the Fallen Empire's awaken? Another one is gone. Oh, I just want the tech that gives us the Unity Edict. I don't know how we haven't had that. Okay, we can get Master Builders, which gives us 50% Mega Structure Build Speed, which does affect this, I hope. I'm pretty sure it does. If it doesn't, well, I'm just going to cry. <laughs> I can't really do anything else. Okay. Just wait, because I have 42,000. Wait, 5,000 Dark Man. That's not the issue. At least... Is this the final one? I don't know, but it's quicker with the 50% at least. Oh, look at that choke point. Got a cloaked frigate on top of our 114k <laughs> star base. Not bad. Okay, there's only two people at war with us and only three defenders left. Me and um, the Flyer Society just going crisis. <laughs> Destroying the entire galaxy. We are close. One more. Oh, I don't actually have enough dark matter. Oop. Because I've just been Technology. killing the planets rather than killing every single system. We can get there, though. They destroyed the Flat Earth Society one. Godava, thank you. What a legend. <laughs> means I'll definitely win, then. I finally get Unity Ambitions, which Engaging means I can speed up Mega Structure Build Speed on the last phase. Engaging it's on Soul. Look at it. <laughs> and we can finally put on Mega Structure Build Speed plus 50%. When we actually have the Dark Map, which we do, it's going to take a quarter of the time. I mean, this galaxy is already destroyed. Look at it. An absolute mess. Yes. We crack soul. Oh, they've got a big fleet there. Okay, they're just leaving. Nope, they're coming back. Crack right. soul, crack soul, crack soul. It's fake soul anyway. <laughs> nice engine. <gasps> psionic shields. We've still not got psionic cloaking, which would be nice. The whole point I played spiritualist, but oh well. We're about to win anyway. A beginning and an end. We stand on the cusp of godhood. The engine is complete, and the vast power of the shroud lies within our grasp. When the engine is activated, the resulting subspace black flash will detonate every single star in the galaxy. All galactic life will be erased. But by then, we have safely left this reality behind for a higher plane of existence, where time has no meaning, where the very fabric of the universe is ours to do with as we please. Destiny awaits. Shall we activate the engine? Do it. We ascend to a higher plane of existence, the galaxy is destroyed, and the cloaked crusaders win the game. The higher plane is just being cloaked. Here we go. Goodbye, everyone. The Cloak Crusaders win. So cloaking was actually kind of fun if you make a build around it. I feel like just making a metal build around cruisers or not cloaking is probably better, but you could get some good plays on multiplayer. If you enjoyed this video, you like the time I played with clerks only. Yes, it's stupid and strong and kind of worked. Click here to find out how it worked and why it went so well.